it going on everybody? Welcome back here today to a NBA 2K19 trade scenario rebuild, kind of like the Bradley Beal one, but today we're heading into the Western Conference for the Memphis Grizzlies, and it's going to be a trading Mark Gasol rebuild. So Mark Gasol is kind of in this final year of his deal. He does have a player option at the end of the year worth about 25 mil. Now, I could see him opting into this just because he isn't probably going to get $25 million anywhere else on the open market just because of his age and kind of he's not really an elite center anymore, but he's still a very good center. I would say he's still a top 10 center in the league, but he's nowhere near the top 5, maybe what he used to be a couple years ago. Maybe like, I don't know if you could ever even classify him as a top 5 center, maybe in 2014-15. He was really good in 2016-17. Um, but no, he's been a very good, he's been a top 10 center pretty much most of his career. And the only reason you could see him leaving is if he wants to actually contend for a title. He used to maybe before the Warriors were their dynasty, but now it's tough. So he might take a pay cut, maybe go somewhere else and try to win a title. I don't know where he could join, but we're going to trade him in today's video. Just and maybe rebuild here. Uh, we could maybe experiment Jared Jackson Jr. J Triple J at the five. Which could get interesting, but I'm not gonna really find like in a realistic trade for Marcus. So we're just gonna move him for whatever I really like here. Um, I don't really know. Brandon Ingram would be interesting. Actually, this could make sense. Not real. I don't really see the Lakers going after Marcus All just because of his age. I, I could see them obviously going after like a Bradley Beal or like a Demarcus Cousins in the offseason. I don't know, but you know what? I think I'm gonna make that trade, and we're gonna get Brandon Ingram here in Memphis. Uh, there's some other cool offers. Yusuf Nurkic is pretty generous. TJ Warren, Andre Drummond, but I'm not going to do center for center. So we're going to pick up Brandon Ingram. We also have to give up Kyle Anderson, and we're going to get Zubats. Um, so I don't know if I want to play JJ at the 5 or at the 4. I think we'll roll him at the 4 for the rest of this year. Uh, we're obviously going to move probably Chandler Parsons in the offseason. Mike Conley could go as well, but I'm not going to really worry about that too much now. We do... I don't know what the protection is in this game, but I believe it's top 8 protected in real life, their pick, that Boston has, but... Can I, um, can I view other teams' picks? Okay. So, in real life, it, it, or in this game, it's top five. So, if we land with the eighth or seven, I think it's top eight. So, if we land with eight, seven, or six, I'm going to go on trade override and get that pick back. But if we're past eight, then it's all Boston. So, I'll see you guys at the end of the season. We'll see how maybe the Lakers do with Marcus All, And I'm hoping we lose games here and not win. All right. So, we go 34 and 48. I don't know if that will get us a top eight pick. We'll have to see till the draft. Of we definitely did not get us into the playoffs. So, we'll keep an eye on what the Lakers do with Marcus Hall. I kind of want to see his end of the year stats. Triple J gets all rookie first team, 13 points, five and a half rebounds, uh, assist and a half. I'll probably keep him at the four. I don't really think I'll move him to the five. Uh, it's interesting to see him in the at the five in real life, but in 2K, it's kind of, it's not really going to work out, I think. So the Lakers were the seventh seed, so they really didn't do that much with with um, Marcus Saul. Uh, he is their starting center. Okay, good. So we are going to be sitting here with the second third fourth fifth sixth i think the seventh worst or sixth worst record so i think we're gonna get that pick no matter what but uh actually i could show you guys the stats here so we our winning score was mike Conley 21 at 6.8 hopefully that helps out his trade value i think i'm gonna move him brendan ingram not too bad jared jackson jr this is kind of what we're gonna be rebuilding with and then obviously i could sign somebody or trade mike Conley for an instant starter so we'll see how far the lakers make it we'll keep an eye on them just for the mark assault purpose and it looks like they're gonna upset the denver nuggets in round one or the Nuggets are coming back here. And no, the Lakers went in six. So let's see if the Lakers can beat the OKC Thunder. But they are currently down 2-0, 3-0. And it looks like their luck runs out. All right, so we got Celtics Warriors Finals. And it looks like the Warriors are going to 3 Pete now. As Steph Curry is your Finals MVP. As they sweep the Boston Celtics. So let's move here to the draft lottery. And let's see where our pick ends up. If it's top eight, like it should be in real life. Or we could get lucky here. No, we dropped a seven. I'm just going to double check. If it's 7 in real life and the Grizzlies can keep it, I'm going to trade override for that pick back. All right, yeah, I believe it was top 8 protected. So we got that pick back now. No matter where our pick ends up next year, I think Boston gets it. So we'll give that. I actually, it might be like top 3 protected next year or something. But I plan on being somewhat decent. So I'll just trade them probably. Whatever my first will be for like their second. Because I just traded my second for their first. Or that first being. So we're going to keep JP Bigger safe. His ratings aren't terrible. His offensive rating isn't that good. Uh, Jerry Stackhouse, we, I didn't know he was their assistant coach. He went up from the uh, Raptors G League team to their assistant coach. Interesting. Uh, let's pick up Owen Masters. We'll keep the coaching staff for now. Uh, if they struggle next year, because I think I'm going to try to put it in like a decent team to compete. So, watch this. Oh, I should have sent Javon Carter to the G League. Uh, Chandler Parsons has two stars for whatever reason. I don't think that can get me up to pick two. 
What about Cleveland probably doesn't have oh they do have the cap. Okay, and what if I would give you a second? And I will give you Javon Carter. Actually, would Chicago accept this at two? No, okay. Would Cleveland accept this at three? If not, then I'll probably do a different trade. Really? I don't want to throw in another first, but what about if I throw in another second? Okay. So we end up with the third pick in the draft. Um I'm looking for probably RJ Barrett here, but if he's gone, John Moran could be an option to replace Mike Conley if I do move Mike Conley. All right, so John Moran and Zion went one and two. I think Zion went one, John Moran went two. So yeah, we did take RJ Barrett with the third pick. No looking back there. I believe we, no, we didn't have a second round pick. So uh, Ingram, Brooks, and Ram, let's all bring back. Now I think I am going to move Mike Conley. I don't know for what, but let's just see what I can get from him in the trade finder. I do want to kind of move on from Conley since we did move on from Marcus Saul. We can pick up Marco Fultz. We are gonna need a we are gonna need a point guard. Shy Gilgis, interesting. I don't know if I can view him as like a starter on a championship team. Uh, I could also look for a center too, so I'll keep my eyes open for a center. Demontis Sabonis, I would so do that if I didn't have uh, a set or if I didn't already have Jared Jackson Jr. Jermaine Green's interesting, but we don't need a power forward, so I think I'm gonna pick up Andre Drummond. We will have to throw in a second round pick, but Andre Drummond and Jared Jackson Jr. is a pretty nasty front court. So. Honestly, there's if imagine I could sign Kyrie Irving. If not, I'm gonna go after Kemba Walker. But I'm gonna give him that. Please accept that, Kyrie. Damn it. He's gonna go to the Pacers, really. Alright, and then I'm gonna offer Kemba Walker a deal. So we'll probably end up with Kemba, which is no slouch. So yeah, we are gonna sign Kemba Walker. We are gonna renounce the rights on most of these guys. Actually, Jamichael Green, I wouldn't mind bringing back. So Kyrie goes to the Jazz, actually weird so we do have our starting five it'll be kemba rj barrett ingram jackson jr drummond how many bench guys do we have we have one that eh, kind of two okay we really need to upgrade this bench jermichael green did he get a deal yet damn he got a deal did he actually get a deal jermichael green uh do, do, do. no wait i'm confused maybe he's not a power wait uh, i guess we just don't have bird rights on jermichael green which is kind of unfortunate he's gonna sign with who the Tim Wolves? Okay, never mind. So we do need a backup center. I don't want to spend that much money on one. So Ed Davis, one year deal. And then we do need a backup point guard. So D Rose would be cool, but he wants 20 mil. Uh Rondo Wynn, Collison. I'll take Darren Collison for a year as well. So we pick up those two. We're gonna read out the rates, Andre Michael Green. And then I think I'm gonna have to sign one more guy. Watch Kyrie make it back here to free agency. Told you. Uh he's gonna go to the Pacers, it looks like. Yeah, I can't really offer him a deal. So, let me just see who I have to sign. I don't really want to roll out even ramp in this 35. So, we have, let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. I just need a backup power forward or small forward. Who could I get? Who could I get? Power forwards. King Gilchrist. Portis. I would actually not mind going after Portis for two years. Can we get Bobby Portis? Uh, Dope, we get him. Alright, so on top potential, I'm going to send RJ Barrett there. And then we're probably going to go Jackson Jr. And then Brandon Ingram. Now, Brandon Ingram's an interesting guy because he doesn't really pan out too well in 2K. So I'm hoping he could actually maybe be a 16 to 17 point per game score for us. If not, I don't know if we're going to keep him around past. It, it depends. This is a big year for him. I'm going to play him a lot of minutes. So this is going to be our bench. Cool. Uh, we're going to go 15 here. We're going to go 16 here because he's regressed. We'll go 24. I would like to go 17, and then we'll go 15. Yeah, we'll do that. Okay. So I got one more minute. Really? That's it to play with? Okay. So Drummond's going to get... We'll go 33 to the front court. We're going to go 32 to Barrett, and then we'll go 35 here, and then we'll go 33. So that'll be for me. I'll see you guys at the end of season number two, and hopefully this team can actually maybe make the playoffs. I hope so. Well, this sucks. We are definitely not making the playoffs this year, so we are probably going to have some changes in coaching staff, and I'll probably to our starting lineup. Also, I will have to give up our first round pick, I believe, unless it's like top three, then I'll research it, but I'm like pretty sure if it's not like top five, I have to give it to Boston. So obviously, we're not going to get any of these awards. Um, I doubt anybody's going to make it to an all NBA team. I wonder if... Marcus Saul re-signed with the Lakers. I didn't really check that out, but I'm gonna guess he did. We do get RJ Barrett on our rookie first team. He was really good. A lot better than somebody else that I'll get to. So the Lakers were the two seed. I do want to see if they have Marcus Saul still. And they of course they didn't resign him. Why didn't they resign him? But they did get Jimmy Butler. So we're gonna be sitting here with the second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth. Okay. Or sixth right uh Sixth overall pick, so I'll probably have to trade that to Boston. Kemba, let us in scoring. Barrett, 
pretty well. I gave Brandon Ingram 35 minutes tonight when he actually averaged 35, almost and a half, and he couldn't average over 15 points a game. His birth 36 numbers were not really good at all, so I'm probably going to have to trade Brandon Ingram, but unfortunately he's going to be a free agent, I think, so I'm going to sign him to a mega deal and then trade him, because, uh, I don't know, he just not going to 2K, and I'm not going to end the tendencies, I just never do that to players, I try to win without doing that, so it just sucks that his tendencies are like that, so we'll figure out what I'm going to do with him, we were okay defensively, actually no, we were pretty bad defensively, never mind, this team just sucked in general, I'm probably going to fire Stackhouse and bigger staff, and let's just get to the offseason, so the Kings actually make it to the Western Conference Finals, and it's Toronto, Milwaukee, in the Eastern Conference Finals, I think that's the matchup we're going to see in real life this year, and Golden State, Sacramento, and Sacra oh, Sacramento almost won, they pushed them to seven, so the Raptors end up sweeping the Warriors and our NBA champions, Kawhi Leonard, is your finals MVP, so let's go here to the lottery, unless we win the lottery, then I gotta research it, but now we're gonna be sitting there at eight, so Oh, unfortunately, I have to do this. So, Boston, here you go. Uh, give me your uh, second round pick in 2024. And obviously, they're going to agree to that. Well, that sucks. Uh, so, let's go here to staff signing. I'm going to fire our coaching staff. Uh, Baker staff had good ratings. It's just he didn't do that well. So, I'm going to bring in old trusty Jacob Underwood. And let's sign Chad Peterson. And then hopefully these two guys can bring us to a playoff run. Because we haven't even made the playoffs yet. And we're going into year number three. So, trade finder, um, I don't know if I'm going to try to get back in the first round, I want to see what, uh, yeah, I was going to say, okay, Kemba Walker's making so much money, I wish it was Kyrie Irving in his spot, but I'm still not mad with Kemba, Bobby Portis, I'm just seeing what he can get me, because I could save some money here, but I don't really think we're even going to make a play for agency anyway, so let's go to team player options, because I don't even think we have a draft pick, we might have one second round pick, but don't really care for it, so drum into free agent as well, looks sweet, uh, qualifying offers, Ingram can take it. Now, we have a couple free agents here to sign. So, we actually have a bunch. So, Bro Dylan Brooks, take that offer. Who's the other one? Ingram, he's restricted. Uh, Drummond, and I don't care for Rams. So, Drummond, we're going to have to get like 40 mil to. Uh, Alright, if he doesn't sign with me, I'm going to be pissed. Well, this rebuild has got a shit. This rebuild has literally got a shit. I'm not going to read out some rights on him just because... Oh my god, really? He accepted another deal to Dallas? Dallas paid him over 40 mil, really? 37 annually, and then it'll only go up. So we could go after, like, Whiteside here. But then I'm scared. My, I think Andre Drummond could just reappear again after Moratorium. Uh, we didn't even get him anyway, so... I don't want to read out some rights on him because I think he could appear again. Uh, let's just hope for the best. So let's not read out some rights on him. Drummond, he didn't appear again. Okay, so I'm going to have to go hard after... Wait, I can't even sign Julius Randle? What? How? Uh, okay. Unless Drummond is weirdly on my team, though. Alright, oh, because we just gave Brandon Ingram all this money. So when we trade Ingram, I'll go after Randle, and then I'm going to have to trade Randle. Ah, oh, this has got a crap. Alright, we could get Whiteside. We could go Gobert, okay. Uh, Kevin Knox is cool. I think I'm going to get Gobert here. So we're going to pick up Gobert. We will have to give up a first round pick. Boohoo. Now, I'm going to go... Actually, do we even have the money to go after him? No. So, Bobby Portis, I'm sorry, but you're going to have to be traded here. Because we need the cap space to go after Julius Randle. So, anybody that's making, like, no money want to come here? Robert Williams. First round picks from the Knicks. Uh, let me just see if there's anything better. Josh Jackson is interesting, but he's making 8 mil, so I don't really want to pay that. Sabonis would be nice, but he's making 20 mil right now. Co Kofi Cockburn? Interesting, interesting. Uh, so, I think I'm going to take these two deals from the Knicks. I think that was the Knicks. So, Conley's a free agent. So, I'm going to go after Julius Randle. Hopefully, he accepts this deal. Thank you. Now, I'm going to trade Julius Randle for a small forward. And we'll have our starting five figured out, but our bench will literally be garbage. So, we can get Tobias Harris. Uh, there was a guy, I was thinking of Michael Porter Jr., but Pascal Siakam. Oh, there's so many good options. We could go DeRozan here and then move him to small forward. You know what? We're going to do this. It's going to kill our bench a little bit. Our bench is going to be garbage for next year. But our starting five is a lot different. We lost Ingram and Drummond, but we picked up DeRozan and Gobert, which could be better in some people's eyes. So we have one, two, three, four. We literally have, like, no bench. We literally have, like, no bench whatsoever. Uh, okay, who's affordable? Uh, affordable. Who's an affordable point guard? We could get Roberson. Give me that. And then pick. give me Malcolm Delaney. Can I get both of them? Okay, Delaney goes to the Mavericks. Please give me Roberson. Please give me Roberson. 
Are you kidding me about this? No, I need Roberson. There we go. So we pick up Roberson now. I can pick up Collison. Okay. And then I might trade Collison. I'll figure this out. Okay, so I'm going to trade Me Too or Met Too and Collison for Bam out of bio. We also have to throw a second round pick in this trade. But that gives us a really nice center. Now, we have three bench players in Roberson, and bio and Tony Bradley. But since I picked up Adebayo, I'm going to try to move Bradley for some type of player. That's not a center, but I'm just getting offered centers. Okay, this isn't good. Uh, how much money do I have left in free agency? We could pick up a Tower Johnson. Okay. Can we get him? There we go. Now, can I pick up a uh, Darius Miller? Sure. All right, so I still have some more trades to make. Bradley, maybe. T Actually, I don't mind rolling Tower Johnson out there. But if I could trade Bradley and Miller for, like, that last guy, that's somewhat decent. So Bradley, Miller, and this next pick. Could we get something solid? Actually, does my pick next year have value? If it has, like, decent value, then we're going to be... Okay, it's two stars. So we can give a Joe Harris at a first. Baysmore, Tyreek, Jay Crowder, Terrence Ross, Monte Morris. Michael Green, Romeo Lankford, Subby Kelp Bridges. I think I'm going to pick up Joe Harris at a first from Cleveland, and our team is set. All right, so training camps are that's our starting five on the right. It's not bad. I think it actually is possibly better than last year's. The Rosen regressed a little bit, but this is probably his last good year. This could end up being a four year rebuild. Who knows if we don't win it all this year, which is possible, but we'll see. Because then if we don't win it all this year, I'll probably have to move to Rosen. I really wanted to go after Michael Porter Jr., but it kind of limited that because Porter Jr. is still in his rookie deal, and Brandon Ingram was making all that money, so it was basically impossible. No, we are not starting Roberson over goddamn DeRozan. What are you thinking? So we're going to go 18 here, 23 there. Uh, we actually have a solid bench if we're thinking about it. We'll go 15, 12. Okay, we'll actually go 16, 12. Now, we're going to go 35, 35, 34, 32, 34... And then we'll go 33. So that's going to be for me. I'll see you guys at the end of the season. Number five, record the NBA .com with Mark Spears. Hopefully we can, I don't know, go to the Western Conference Finals. All right, so there we go. 62 and 20 this year. I just can't win. Okay, most improved goes to Jaron Jackson's year. I can't win with Brandon Ingram unless he's like my fifth best player. But he shot 50% from the field, 30, almost 36% from three. 35 minutes a game. Dudes was really good this year. Dude was really good. His per 36 would have been even better, obviously. So coach of the year, we also get... And Jacob Underwood, there we go. I'm sorry, JP Bickerstaff, but we had to move on to better things. I wonder where Marcus Gasol is. I actually didn't check where he signed with, but I'll check that actually after I look at the awards. We see no Grizzlies uh, besides Rudy Gobert gets all defensive second team, so that's nice to see. Uh, we didn't have any rookies. So where is Marcus Gasol these days? Uh, where is Marcus Gasol? Where is Marcus Gasol? Uh, so I gotta go to all players. Let's go to centers. Marcus Gasol is currently on the. Oh God, he's regressed. He's on the San Antonio Spurs. That's a team I could see him on, obviously. I don't know if his brother's still there, but he played really good this year. A lot better than his last previous year. How much did he sign for? 20, about what he was going to get from us anyway. So he probably would have opted in. I'm going to Actually, no, he usually opts out in 2K. So here are the stats. Walker, 21 and 6. Barrett, 19, 6 and 6. DeRozan, 17, 4 and a half. There, we saw Jackson's numbers already. We saw Gobert's numbers already. There's Adebayo, Harris, Johnson, and Roberson. Obviously, Roberson probably played Amazing D. And uh, he only shot 37% from three, Joe Harris. Okay, I thought he would shoot a little bit better than that. Team uh, or team stats, we were fourth in scoring, first in defense, first in point differential. And then we are taking on who in round one? It will be the Sacramento Kings, who made it to the conference finals last year. They don't have Buddy Heald anymore, but they have the Bogdanovich... People said they're, I feel like people say they're not related because one's from Serbia. Yeah, I don't think they're related because one's from Serbia, one's from Croatia, right? Yeah, they're not. Actually, they still have field. He's off the bench. They also have DeAndre Jordan, Steven Adams, and Mitchell Robinson, and Isaiah Mobley. You have enough big men? Jeez. All right, so let's see what the current round. I could see them beating us. That is a good team. Oh, my God, they're up 2-0. Please, oh, my God. 3-1, please come back. Please come back. Okay, okay, game seven. Yes, let's go, let's go. Game seven, please win this. Let them blow a 3 0 lead. And then we have to face Houston if we win. Oh, we're at home. Good first quarter. Not a good second quarter. Come on, do not blow this. Do not blow this. Okay, we're winning. Okay, they blow a 3 0 lead. That is really embarrassing, Sacramento, but you know what? I'll take it. <laughs> uh, we got Houston here, and then we'll have LA if we win, but it looks like we are going to make light work of Houston. 3 to 1. 
And I jinxed it probably. Okay, no, I didn't. We went in six. Now we're taking on the Lakers, who don't have Marcus Saul, but they have LeBron, Butler, and Kuzma, and Lonzo, and Charles Bassey. It's a good team. So let's simulate the current round. We are one series away from going to the NBA Finals. But if we can't beat the Lakers... So the Lakers ended up beating the Bucks at four, and LeBron is your Finals MVP. So this is going to be a, technically a four-year rebuild. DeRozan is going to start regressing. So I might move him. Uh, we are going to keep the coaching staff the same. So let's go to the NBA draft. I think I might move DeRozan. I, or I'm going to look at what I can get for him. So DeRozan on the market. Chris Muddleton, eh. Uh, has Michael Porter Jr. gotten a deal yet? I might have to wait till after free agency. We could get Truman back. D'Angelo Russell is interesting. You know what? Wait. I might look at that because, ooh, we can get the first overall pick in the draft. We can also pick up John Wall. Can John Wall play? Well, how tall is he? He's 6'4". The question is, can RJ Barrett play small forward? He can. He's 6'7". So I think we're going to do that. We are going to move to Rosen for either John Wall or D'Angelo Russell. And I think I'm going to go John Wall here because why not? I don't know how John Wall and Kemba Walker are going to work because I'm going to move John Wall to shooting guard. Actually, even though Kemba's probably a better shooter. So we're going to move Kemba to shooting guard, even though he's 6'1". It's going to hurt us a little bit defensively, but I think we're fine. Let's go to team player options. We're going to bring back Jared Jackson Jr. and RJ Barrett, obviously. Qualifying offers, Bam is the one guy we have to bring back. So, I guess Michael Porter Jr. won't even be a free agent. Yeah, it's like the Tatum class. So, Gobert, we actually have to bring back. And then, Bam, I'll just offer you a deal as well. Wow, you want 30 mil? Jeez, bro. Really? That much money? Alright, so we're going to sign both of them. And I'll see you guys at the start of next year's season. Because the team's already set. We could possibly end up with an all-90 starting five by the end of the year. Because um, Jackson Jr. is an 89 overall at the age of 22. So, he'll probably hit a 90 at the end of the year. And we'll have an all-90 starting five as long as Kemba or Gobert don't regress back down to an 89. So, we're going to go 11 here. 16. 18. 23. 32. 34. 35. 35, 36, sure. So that's going to be it for me. I'll see you guys at the end of the year. Hopefully, John Wall. Okay, number one team according to NBA.com. So let's just win it all. We have John Wall, Kemba Walker, RJ Barrett, Jared Jackson Jr., and Rudy Gobert. Please. All right, guys. So we go 68 and 14. John Wall wins MVP. 21 points, nine and a half assists, almost two steals a game, shot 49% from the field, 36% from three, 66% from the line. Okay, he's regressed there kind of drastically we do get coach of the year probably yep J jacob underwood so we get john wall and nba first team any other grizzlies uh no no actually no wait we did rj barrett all nba third team 20 points a game for him 6.6 assists almost seven assists Duke could have honestly played point guard too but we moved him to small forward just go bear get all defensive team he does all defensive second team and hey john wall all defensive second team as well so john wall killed it for us this year so we are the one seed. This is our year. This is the fourth and probably final year. So let's hope for the best. So we're taking on, okay, a very good Warriors team. Don't know why they're the eighth seed. And I'm kind of upset we're facing them in round one. Here's everybody's numbers. If you want to pause and see. I'm not going to talk about them. I just kind of want to get into the playoffs. So there we go. Team stats. We were first in points a game. First in allowed. Okay. Honestly, I'm going to press simulate playoffs, and I better see us in that Western Conference Finals. And we're down 2-0 to the Warriors. Are you serious? Okay, god damn it, Broadstreet. Why are there so many cops out there right now? But we're up 3-2, to and we win in 6. Okay, we win 4 on answer. Now we're taking on Sacramento. We beat them last year. We're up 2-0, 3-0. There we go. Moving on to the Western Conference Finals to take on the Minnesota Timberwolves or the Rockets? The Timberwolves. All right, let's hope for the best. Game 1, we win. Game 2, we win. Okay. It looks like we're going to be going to the NBA Finals to take on, let's see, the Pacers or Celtics. Battle of the one seed. Celtics are up 2-0, 2-1, 2-2, 3-2 us. Okay. All right. Game six. This is kind of like a repeat of game or round one where we were down 2-0. We're going to try to win four and answered. What a second quarter. Oh, my God. We're going to win it all. All right. I'll see you guys in the game. Domination. All right. So, we don't have our starters. I mean, is Jared Jackson Jr.? No. We got Roberson playing power forward. Jeez. Uh, none of the starters fouled out, which is good. But I kind of want to play a little bit with Jared Jackson Jr. I want to see what his three-point shot is at. But, bam, that was his second free throw. So, we are up currently by 38. Jeez, that's a lot. Uh, Wall's got 30 points and six assists. Uh, Kemba's got 16 and 8. Barrett, 15, 9 and 8. Damn, all right. How did we not get a steal? Actually, I was hoping you would foul. All right, I'm going to call a timeout. I do want to play with, actually, like, Jared Jackson Jr. And 
uh, Rudy Gobert. Well, not really Rudy Gobert, but I do want to play with Jared Jackson Jr., who has 23 tonight on his season average is 18. Uh, shooting over 50% on the night as well. I don't know what 8 for 13 is. That's probably what. It's like over 60%. So what's his three-pointer at? It's at a B. Oh, I was hoping it would be a little bit higher. John Wall for three, catch and shoot. Money. Money for John Wall. He's got 33, 5, and 6. We're going to win it in uh, Boston, too, on their own court. I have no idea who this Thornton guy is. His name might be Marcus Thornton, actually. I feel like there is one of those guys in one of these drafts, but I could be completely wrong. He's due, He does have a three-point. Someone next to his name, so that reminds me of him. That is not Damian Dotson. I don't know who this Dotson is. Kemba Walker. Uh, guarding shooting guards, I'm actually surprised that didn't like go horribly wrong, and we would have had to like get a new uh, new shooting guard that could honestly play better defense. But RJ Barrett misses that. He has 15 points, nine rebounds, and eight assists. He's kind of do, doing it all. Uh, John Wall's guarding. Okay, yeah, you're not gonna get that over. Is this Dwight Powell? All right, RJ Barrett kicking up to John Wall. Jared Jackson Jr. Actually, I want to run a pick and. Oh, Jay, 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 what are you doing? I wanted to run a pick and pop with you. Um. Damn it. All right. Well, let's hope we could do this again here. We only have like two more possessions left. So, Jared Jackson Jr., I want to run a pick and pop with you. I want to hit 1-3 with Jared Jackson Jr. Get over here. Jared Jackson Jr., set a good screen, please. All right. There we go. There we go. It's not a three, but, you know, I'll take that. But he misses. You know what? Screw you, Jared. Now I'm just going to stop playing because now I'm upset. I guess for finals MVP, I got to guess... It's got to be the MVP of the regular season. I'm sure he showed out in the playoffs and in the finals. I'm going to guess it's John Wall. It could be RJ Barrett, but no, it is John Wall. 24 points, 10 assists, 4 rebounds, 51% from the field, 43% from 3. Really good and over a steal a game. So that's going to be for me. Thank you for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. We did that with 590s and Bam Adebayo doing pretty well. Uh, could have hit a 90 in a couple years. So yeah, we had 590s, which was cool. Uh, let me know in the comments any other guys you would want to see. Uh, me doing a trade scenario rebuild. We did Bradley Beal recently. Now we did RJ, or we did Marcus Soul today. So I will probably have a prospect rebuild out next. And yeah, you can be on the lookout for that. So thank you all for watching. I love you guys. See you guys next video. Peace.